Okay, so I'm in my big t-shirt that I sleep in. I've taken a shower. I've done my toner and all that good stuff. I have my hair in an old t-shirt. I keep, I wrap my hair to dry in an old t-shirt. That's supposed to be really good if you have wavy hair. I think it does help. I think it does help with the frizziness. So I thought I would take this opportunity because I need to use this mask right here, the brightening mask, the gold mask. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you. I'm also going to show you the hydrating mask at the same time because where I want to put this, I cannot put the brightening mask anyway, so we might as well just show two at one. So this is super foamy and the smell is oh, divine. It smells like tropical paradise. Um, just yumminess. It's just amazing. So it doesn't go on as blue as it looks on your fingers. It's fairly translucent, translucent bluish, okay? This is a great mask because you can do this mask for 20 minutes, you can do this mask for 10 minutes, you can do this mask for an hour, you can sleep in this mask should you need a really concentrated dose of, what am I trying to say? Hydration, okay? But these areas right here where I'm putting it are not areas you would want to put your brightening mask because it's a peel off mask and you don't want to peel in that area. So I'm rubbing the extras in, extra of that into the back of my hand for an extra little treatment there. So it looks kind of like, um, I don't know if you're a Star, Star Trek fan, data skin, see what I'm saying? Okay, now if you get a sample of this or if you get the, if you get the whole thing, um, the, just use enough, you need to really get a good even coating of it. This has niacinamide in it. It has all other kinds of good, good stuff in it. I'm going to first show you how to put it on. You need to apply it fairly evenly um, so that when it dries, you can peel it back off again. There is just enough in a sample packet, should you get a sample packet, um, there is just enough in here to do your face. But So what I'm doing right now is I'm pushing it all down. There's a tear line here, like on this purple where the purple lid looks to be. And I'm gonna trim it with my scissors and I'm gonna squeeze it all out first into this little paper plate, paper bowl. Because you're going to need all of it. And it's difficult to get it out while you have it all over your fingers or to use this little spatula with if you're still trying to get it out of this pouch. It comes in a squeeze tube when you get it okay the reason I like this one a lot is because you get some exfoliation with it because it's a peel off mask um, when you want to exfoliate you don't want to really do anything harsh and um, especially if you have sensitive skin like me my skin is too sensitive for our exfoliating mask it has sea salt in it it's just too thick it's it's too scrubby it's just not good Okay, got a little on my finger, so I'm gonna put some there. This is a gold mask, look at that. It's so cool. Okay, and I'm gonna use this little spatula, and I'm gonna start spreading it on. And so it's, because it's a peel-off mask, you're gonna get some exfoliation with it. So when my skin is flaky, for whatever reason, um, usually it's because I've been using a lot of chemical exfoliants, like retinol or AHAs, high-strength AHAs, to propel me to the next layer of skin, if you will, a little mini facial peel at home. Um, don't get it in your eyebrows either. I mean, I, it's not gonna pull your eyebrows off, I don't think, but it sure is hard to get out of that area if you get it in that area, okay? So I put it in the areas where I get flaky, which is here, close to my hairline and close to my eyebrows. I get flaky there. I sometimes get flaky around the nose. I get flaky here between my eyes. Isn't it so cool though? And it's gonna dry and it's gonna dry tight. So that's why I'm not doing this as a live because you have to leave this on for 20 minutes. So I'm not gonna sit here and make you wait and watch me for 20 minutes while we wait to watch basically the mask dry. That sounds about as much fun as watching paint dry, yes? When you finish with this, your skin is just gonna feel so 
baby soft. It's just amazing. It really is. I've never been able to peel it off as a face, per se. I've been able to peel it off in one piece, but like having a separation there. Um, I've never been able to peel it off in the shape of a face. It's always my goal, but you never know. And it's a little crazy peeling it off sometimes too. But I'm using this spatula so I can really get a good dose on. It's also, a, um, the parts that don't peel off, you can just go rinse off when you're done. They will take a washcloth. We'll take a little scrubbing to do that. Okay. This is not something you would do every day, obviously. This would be a once a week treatment or an every other week treatment. I often uh, mix this one with the perfecting mask, which is the charcoal clay mask. That one I really love doing right now because the mask situation lead to, lead to such clogged pores. Um, that one really helps to eliminate those clogged pores and smooth out that skin. This one I like because it has some exfoliating with it. It's drippy. Mm -hmm. Isn't it cool looking though? So this is the brightening mask. And when I come back, I'm going to go over the ingredients with you. It's my second favorite next to the Perfecting, which is the charcoal mask. I do like, really like the hydrating mask, but I'm not really, I, I don't really have dry skin, a lot of dry skin issues. I like it for its targeted help with that. Okay. So I'm going to let this set, and I've used pretty much all of it. Okay, that's why I really recommended the bowl. So you can get a nice, good coating everywhere when you go to peel it. And there's a little couple of little tricks to peeling it that I'll come back and show you. So I'm going to pause here and go sip on my wine and read my book. And I'll come back when this is ready to peel. Okay? Okay, so it's really tight. I can't talk very well, but here we go. So what the first thing you want to do is start making really funny faces and get it stretched out. See how it's stretched out now? And get it to start pulling away. Okay, and you're going to start rolling. It does take a little persistence. Whew. I got a good coat of this. Okay, get it rolling. And then you can pick up that roll and start to peel. And you're gonna have such soft, amazing skin. Isn't it cool? Oh, I've already messed up my whole face. Lost the whole face category. I always lose it right here under the whole under the nose too. I can't get it all off, but if I can still keep it going in one piece, that's successful. It doesn't really matter if it's one piece or not. It's just a silly little goal that you start to try to set with yourself. This is always right there on the bridge. It's always hard to do. And you're going to have the softest, most amazing skin when you're done. I like this for the exfoliation, for the little bit of exfoliation you're getting by peeling. When I have flaky skin, I have sensitive skin, so I can't use anything really harsh and scrubby 
without further irritating my skin, which then leads to more flakes. And there you go. So these parts right here, I can go back and still peel and work on some. Or I can use a washcloth and get them off. This is just amazing, amazing stuff. But my skin just feels baby smooth, baby soft. It's a great little exfoliating trick that's not too harsh for your skin. Again, not something you would do every day. There's not a mask that you would do every day, really. Um, but for every now and then, once a week or so, to get those, that dead layer of skin off, it's just an amazing mask. So there you go. There's the brightening mask. I'm going to have to scratch that too much. I think I should get a washcloth. There it goes. Okay. It's so great. You're just going to love it. And I'm hoping that there will be a mask deal in one of the bundles. There was last year. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Y'all have a great evening. Bye.